Welcome to my next tutorial. In this tutorial, I will cover bytes and byte array methods. Bytes and byte array are two different built-in data types in Python. And like everything else in Python, they are also objects. Bytes objects are very similar to string objects. Whereas byte array objects are like bytes object, but they are mutable objects, like list objects. Let's first look at bytes object. If you call built-in function directory on a bytes object, it will return all bytes class methods. If you look at the output, you can see that bytes class provides almost same methods as string class, except decode, from hex, and hex methods. So in this tutorial, I will only cover these three methods, because all other bytes class methods work exactly like string class methods, and I have already covered them in my string methods tutorial. So let's start with decode method. For better understanding of decode method, let's first look at encode method of string class. Encode method converts a string object into bytes object. It takes two optional arguments, encoding and errors. And by default, encoding argument is set to UTF-8 and errors argument to strict. Let's see some examples. In this example, I have string myString1 and I call encode method, which converts myString1 into bytes object using UTF-8 encoding by default. Now in next line, I again call encode method, but this time I have set the encoding argument to Latin 1. So if you look at both outputs, you will find no difference at all. This is because my string 1 contains only ASCII characters, and ASCII is subset of both UTF-8 and Latin 1 character encoding sets. You can also set encoding argument to ASCII, which returns same result as above. Now in next example, I have another string my string 2 which contains a known ASCII character, that is the German letter umlaut u. Now when I call encode method with encoding argument set to UTF-8, the encode method returns bytes object where the German letter umlaut u is represented by two bytes. But when I call encode method with encoding argument set to Latin 1, the encode method returns bytes object where the German letter umlaut u is represented by one byte. This is because the character encoding set Latin 1 uses one byte per character, so that in Latin 1, you can only encode 256 characters. Whereas UTF-8 is variable length character encoding set, where a character can take up to 4 bytes, and the German character umlaut u takes 2 bytes. So using encode method and a suitable encoding set, you can convert a string object into a bytes object, which is nothing more than sequence of 8 bytes. Encode method is useful when you want to transfer data from one system into another system. So you simply convert the data into bytes and then convert it back into data after transferring it into another system. Now let's look at the last argument of encode method, that is errors. The default value of errors argument is set to strict, which tells the Python interpreter that raise an exception if any encoding error occurs. In this example, I have a string which contains a known ASCII character, but I have set the encoding argument to ASCII. The Python interpreter now throws an exception that ASCII coder cannot encode a known ASCII character. To avoid such exceptions, I can set the errors argument to ignore, which tells the Python interpreter that ignore everything you cannot encode and don't throw an exception. Now the output is still a bytes object, but the encode method has ignored the German letter umlaut u. Similarly, you can also have other values for errors argument like replace, which replaces malform data with a suitable replacement marker, such as question mark. Now if I want to convert my byte subject back to string object, I can use the decode method. Decode method is reverse of encode method and converts a byte subject into a string object. Just like encode method, decode method also takes two arguments, encoding and errors. In this example, my byte 1 is encoded in UTF-8 and my byte 2 is encoded in Latin 1. Now when I call decode method with write encoding arguments, I get string objects as a result. But if I try to decode my byte 2 using UTF-8 character encoding set, which is by default, Python interpreter throws an exception. To avoid such exceptions, I can set the errors argument to ignore. So the errors argument of decode method works exactly like errors argument of encode method. For all valid encoding and errors arguments, please read the Python documentation. Now let's move to next two very simple methods, from hex and hex. 
From hex is a class method and converts a string containing sequence of hexadecimal digits to a byte subject, as shown in this example. Whereas the hex method does the reverse, that is, it converts the byte subject containing sequence of hexadecimal bytes into a string object. Now let's look at byte array objects. Byte array objects are very similar to byte subjects, but they are mutable objects, just like list objects. So you can delete, insert, or replace arbitrary values in byte array objects. A byte array object can be created by calling the built-in byte array constructor as shown in this example. If you call built-in function directory on a byte array object, you will get the list of all methods of byte array class. Now if you look at the output carefully, you can see that byte array class contains methods of both bytes and list classes. I have already covered these methods either in string, bytes or list specific method tutorials. So please watch these tutorials for more information on these methods. I hope you have now basic understanding of bytes and byte array methods. Thank you for watching this tutorial and please subscribe my channel for future tutorials.